This is the first pedal bike ever made. Well, a replica of it, at least. The iconic bicycle has evolved massively over the last century. But who invented it? Kirkpatrick Macmillan, an unassuming blacksmith with a visionary mind and a burning passion for innovation, is the creator of the world's first pedal bike. He is quietly one of the most influential Scotsmen ever to have lived, but barely anyone knows his name. Well, he was a blacksmith, and so he did anything from um, doing horse ho horses' hooves, um, mending people's frying pans that were cracked. He saw a hobby horse that you pushed along with your feet, and you thought, no, let's get some pedals and make this into an actual bicycle that you balance on and ride. At the time, Kirkpatrick Macmillan's incredible achievement went largely unnoticed. Scottish cycle wear brand Endura wanted to honour his legacy and tell the world about this secret marvel. Stephen Shan, a bike builder based in Falkirk, and Tim Loftus, a boat builder based in Ullapool, are tasked with the challenge to reconstruct Macmillan's invention. So the interesting thing about this project is that we're looking at taking a bicycle that we've made you know, over 100 years ago, looking at how we can make something that is true to that original design but utilising some more modern technologies. The hardest part is finding information about how these things went together. So I've learnt a lot on, on the job. It would come very naturally to a, a trained wheelwright to build those wheels, but to me it's a new process. The bicycle has been made almost in two stages. Um, Tim is managing most of the, the wooden parts, so that includes the wheels here and the main frame itself. Um, the mechanical side of it, the actual propulsion, the treadle pedal system, which I'm working on in parallel with Tim while he's doing this, that'll all be brought together later on in the process to, to end up with a rideable bike. Ride. So one of the things I'm really excited about is once we have this project finished from our side and we've got a deliverable bike, is seeing all these Endure athletes riding it, getting their feedback, you know, and listening to what they think about it and how it compares to the sort of modern bicycles that they're used to riding. So I think this will be a really different experience for the Endure athletes to try and ride in a way they might have to suspend all their um, previous knowledge of, of riding a, a modern bike and uh, and just learn to ride this from from first principles the bike will begin its adventure in thorn hill the birthplace of kirkpatrick mcmillan and will travel the 60 mile trip to the riverside museum on the banks of the river clyde in glasgow <laughs> My name is Michaela Parton and I'm a downhill mountain bike racer. Yeah, it was so cool to see it because uh, I've heard a lot about it. Yeah, just amazing and it is completely different. Like obviously it's similar that it's got two wheels but apart from that it's so different. The way it pedals is different. It's obviously rigid but it's uh, really cool to ride so I'm really grateful that I got to uh, be involved in this.
I'm James McDonald. I'm an ultra endurance athlete with Endura. Uh, when I first saw the bike, my immediate reaction was how big it was. Actually, it's got a big, a really big rear wheel, so I thought this is going to be interesting. It's great to be part of this uh, initiative to sort of highlight the the importance of you know where the bike came from and how it was invented here in Scotland, and not many people know that. Endura invited me along, which I'm very, very grateful for, and it gave me an opportunity to, to sit in a remake of the first bike, effectively. It was fascinating, it really was, and I've got to be brutally honest, I mean, I knew we invented television, I knew we invented telephone, penicillin, tarmac, all these things, but I was never aware that the first bicycle was, uh, was made in Scotland. Amazing. Does it make you feel proud? It does, it actually does. Prouder if you like. What Endura are doing here with highlighting how far back the Scottish Association of Cycling goes is, is really interesting. I think Endura putting the spotlight on this sort of thing is, is really interesting, it's really fun and it's great for people like us to get involved. I wasn't actually aware of, uh, of any of this before Endura obviously took on this project and they've made this bike and it's really cool that they're highlighting Scotland's history and how the bike was made. It's, it's, it's great to, uh, to help people understand that and uh, appreciate it. Endura have done a marvellous job and um, I feel very privileged to be just part of it today.